Today's video is on equivalence formulas, otherwise known as logically equivalence using the truth tables. So this topic is from mathematical logics and this is related to MFCS or DMJT. So according to the definition of logically equivalence using the truth tables, see here as you know the truth tables, if x and y are given, if the truth tables of x are equal to the truth tables of y for each of two parent possible sets of truth values, then x and y are said to be equivalent. See here, what are these two parent possible sets? See here, if the proposition is 1, if there is only one proposition P, then the number of possible truth values will be 2 parent. So the formula here is 2 parent. See, I am showing you, this is 2 parent possible sets of truth values. So how many truth values will be there? So if the proposition is 1, so this is 2 power 1, 2 truth values will be there. So if the propositions are 2, that is P and Q, for example, then the number of possible truth values will be 2 square, so which is equal to 4. If there are 3 propositions P, Q, R, then the possible truth values are 2 cube, that is 8. So there will be 8 possible truth values. See here, according to our definition, if the truth values of X are equal to the truth values of Y, for each of the two parent possible sets of truth values, then X and Y are said to be equivalent. So if you compare the last column of each and every truth values of X as well as Y, they should be equal. If they are equal, then we say that X and Y are said to be equivalent. For example, see here, these are the examples. So this is example. We have to show that P implies Q and negation P or Q are logically equivalent. So we have to find out the truth values of X as well as Y. So you have to take this as X and this as Y and we have to draw the truth value table and we have to show that the last column of the truth value table are equal. If they are equal then we say that X and Y are logically equivalent. So the second example here is so show that the formula P or Q and R and P or Q and P or R are logically equivalent. So take this as X and this as Y and draw the truth tables. And after drawing the truth tables, if the last column in the truth table are equal, then we say that X and Y are logically equivalent. See, I'll draw the truth tables of X as well as Y. The first question here is, we have to show that the propositions P implies Q and P negation P or Q are logically equivalent. So this is the truth value. So how many um, possible truth values will be there? 2 power n. So here the propositions are 2, P and Q. So this will be 2 power n, 2 square. So we need 4 values here. So for the 4 values here, I am taking true, true. So this is true, true. And next one, this is false, false. And for Q, this is true, false. And next one is true, false. Clear? And we need P implies Q. So I have I told you the logic here for implies. See, remember, if there is true first and false a second, so immediately we have to write false. So this is the logic for this P implies Q. So compare where is true and false. So there is no true and false. This is true and false. Immediately you have to write false. Is there any true false? No true false. And the rest are all trues. Clear? And next one is negation P. Negation, mean, negation P means the negative statement of P. So the negative statement of P, if it is true, you have to write false. If it is true, again, you have to write false. If it is false, write true. And if it is false, you have to write true. And next one, Q here. So what is Q here? That is true, false. This is true, false. And next one for OR symbol, for disjunction. So what is the logic we are going to use? If they are two false, immediately write false. On comparing, so negation P and Q. So there is disjunction between these two. Negation P or Q. So if they are two false, write false. So are they two false here? They are two false, immediately write false. They are no two false and therefore the rest are all true. So if you compare this one, that is First thing here is X. So this is X and this is Y. So on comparing X and Y truth table values. So for 
P implies Q. So for P implies Q, this is the X and this value is Y. So if you compare the truth values, that is true, false, true, false. Here also for Y, this is true, false and true, false. So if you compare these two, so true, false and this is also true, false, true, true. Then we say that if these two are equal, then we say that P implies Q is equivalent to negation P or Q. See here, so these two are equivalent or logically equivalent statements. So we have to draw the truth table. For truth table also, there is a logic that number of truth values will be 2 power n. So here there are two propositions. You have to take 2 square 4 propositions. So that I have taken true, true, false, false. And after that, true, false, true, false. After taking these two inputs, so you have to frame P implies Q, negation P, Q, negation P or Q. And so, if you compare these two, so the both the values are equal, then we say that these two are logically equivalent. And in a next example, see here, show that the formula is P or Q and R and P or Q and P or R are logically equivalent. So, we have to consider this as X and this one as Y. And now we have to compare the truth values of these two. See how many inputs are there? How many propositions are there? Here we have 1, 2, 3, P, Q, R. So the number of possible truth values will be 2 power n. So here there are 3 propositions. So we have to take 8 values. So for taking the 8 values, this is the truth value table. And here in this truth value table, so we need, the first thing we need is P or Q and R. So this is P or Q and R. So this value will be X and next one, this one is P or Q and P or R. So this value will be Y. So this is our X and this is our Y. So we have to compare these two tables and next we have to proceed. See first I have taken 8 values. For taking 8 values, what is the logic here? True, 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 true. So we have to take first 4 true and last 4 as false. And next one, next 2 true, next true, false. True, true, false, false. And next one, single term. True, false, true, false, true, false, like that. So we have to take four trues. And next one, we have to take two trues. And next one, we have to take a single true. And after filling this one, so next we have to do and say there is an and combination here. So there is a conjunction here. So if there is an, what is the logic here? If there are two trues, immediately write one true. Immediately write one true. So on comparing, Q and R. So if you compare these two, so what is our uh, P and Q? So if you compare these two, P and R. So if you compare these two, write true, true. Wherever you see true, true, write immediately true. So there is no true, true. So there is true, true here. Write true. So there is no true, true. And remaining are all false. See here, this, this one is false. And the next one is P or Q and R. So this is Q and R and you have to compare with P. So with these we have to write disjunction. So what is the logic here? If you find two false, write immediately false. So write immediately false among these two P or Q and R. So on comparing these two table, find out wherever there are two false. So there is no false false. So find for two false false. So there is false false here. I am writing false. There is false false. Write false. And there is false false. Write. And remaining are all true. Clear. And the next thing here is P or Q. So among P or Q, there is or here. So if there is or or what we have to do? So we have to, the logic here will be if they are two false, immediately write false and the rest are true. So on comparing P and Q, so find whether they are two false, false, false. Is there any false, false among these? So there is a false, false here and I am writing false. And there is a false, false here, I am writing false. The remaining are all trues. So here I am writing trues. Clear? And next one, P or R. So among P or R, there is R again. So if there is a disjunction, so the logic here will be if there are two false, 
immediately write false. So on comparing P and R, so if they are two false, check whether they are two false. So there is a two false here and immediately write false and see they are two false, write false and they are, sorry, sorry, sorry. True, false, false, it is false and this is false and true. So this will be true. False and false, this will be false. See, this is true. And remaining are all trues. So these are all trues. Clear? And the next thing here is among these two. So among these two. That is P or Q or and P or R. So for end symbol, what is the logic here? The logic for end symbol conjunction is if there are two trues, immediately write one true. Immediately write one true. See here, if there are two trues, immediately write a true. So if there are two trues, write true. This is true and this is true and see here, this is true. See here, there are no two trues. Right, false. So there are no trues. Right, false. And this, right, false. And see, this is how we have to solve. And if you understand this video, so it is very clear that on comparing these two, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 trues and 3 false. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 trues and these 3 are false. So if you compare this table. So here the table is same for X as well as Y. Then we say that P or Q and R is equivalent to P or Q and R. This is P or R. So this is how we have to show that it is logically equivalent through the truth tables. And these are the equivalence formulas and MFCS or mathematical logics. This is how we have to follow. Thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. If you really like, please practice and you can do so many problems of these kind and pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to this channel and stay connected.